Halloween is widely known and celebrated, and we wouldn't miss the chance to make something cool this year for you guys. You probably remember the Halloween remake for the farm map we did a couple of years ago. We've completely reworked the map, adding pumpkins, that big fascinating moon, flying witches, and if we remember correctly, it was quite well received during the Halloween seasons. Since it was enjoyed that much, we've decided to remake another map for Halloween. This time around, it's going to be the Street Wars map. Seeing as it's based in America and Halloween is an American holiday, it's easily a great pick for this setting. This map's been totally reworked just like the farm was in its days. You just won't recognize this map when you load it up the first time. It's all festive with zombies, pumpkins, and all the appropriate Halloween-themed attributes. So why was the Street Wars map chosen? Well, there's a known concept about what Halloween's like. It's gotta be a street, single-family homes, children going door-to-door -door for trick-or-treating, People put on their costumes, houses are decorated with all the scary stuff. It creates a playfully chilling atmosphere. That's why Street Wars is ideal for that authentic Halloween feel. As for the features added to the map, they're mostly cosmetic and will not affect the gameplay much. To start with, we've changed daytime to nighttime, and you'll be roaming around under the dim to bright street lights and that epic moonlight. Right in the middle of the map, we used to have a large pit. Now it's been filled with souls flying around in a huge spotlight. Apart from the familiar caskets, pumpkins, candles, and spider webs, we've got static zombies. We've tried to create a bit of a background story for each of them. Would a Halloween map be complete without screamers? Definitely not. You'll have those fun traps scattered all throughout the map. The atmosphere is totally different from the classic, serious feel of your usual Warface maps. After all, it's a holiday, so the map's all brightly lit and colorful. You'll find a lot of fun visual effects and other neat surprises. We actually had an idea to do something with the large container of souls in the middle. We wanted to make it release new souls once a player gets killed, but we had to accept the fact that during the match, things happen pretty quickly, and it's likely it wouldn't even be noticed. So we just went with the idea to plant a soul pit that's constantly releasing new dead souls. It looks pretty cool, and it's pretty symbolic of Halloween. We're sure you'll love this Halloween, as you did the last one at the farm, and that you'll spend plenty of time participating in Halloween Wars. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.